Dodd Platts, Nevada. The time, 6.15 a.m. Operation A-bomb test underway. Ready to record the radioactivity from the closest possible vantage point. Bomb bay doors open. Detonation minus 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This morning and had this big green cross on my arm. Really? I got a circle one. You know, your medical chart shows no indication of any scars in your body. You must have got it in a crash. Huh. Now, this was surgery. A very skillful incision. I've never had an operation. on the road, Peter. What did you give him? Sodium amytol. Truth serum. To deprive his mind of any imagination. Sounds like most of the guys I've dated. I'll tell you the whole story. Controls. Jammed. When I regained consciousness, I was on a table. Next thing I knew, they were coming at me. I, I could see something strange and eerie pulsating in front of me. Then one of them lowered it toward my chest. With my own heart. His own heart. What a sweet Valentine. Who are you? What are you doing to me? Can't you speak? Who are you? What's with those belts? Oh, major fashion don't. <laughs> I could show you my scar, but this is family hour. So embarrassing. They all wear the same thing to work. Aliens with no fashion sense. Are they here to conquer or to shop? Find out when the attack of the Killer Bee movies continues. Hey, close the fridge! The Attack of the Killer Bee Movies is back! Step forward. Dr. Martin, I see you 
are quite well. You have recovered from your unfortunate accident. Who are you? A scientist like yourself. Except with much bigger eyes. Believe it or not, he's squinting right now. Where do you come from? From a planet, yet unknown to you. You know my name, you speak English. We speak every language. You can't expect me to believe that. I'm getting out of here. Stay where you are. He's gonna want that every night now. Zapper? Here. In our machine, magnetically propelled across the electron bridge we have created. Electron bridge? You mean you come and go, just like that? Without anyone ever seeing you? Our ships have been sighted on numerous occasions by your people. Then why haven't we been able to track one down? We have a warning system similar to your primitive radar. Our machines are set to change course at the mere approach of a pursuing object. You're like a girl when she sees William. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we right now? In a cavern within the upper crust of the Earth. Rents are cheap there. How long have you been here? Since the beginning of your experiments in nuclear fission. What have you got to do with that? We are accumulating the energy released with each of your atomic explosions. Tell me about it. What was that? A report from the monitor we sent to the surface to obtain the results of your last nuclear test. Results? They'll take days to analyze and compute. I think you will find these figures are correct. that man you don't recognize the area no it's las vegas man he is in the vicinity where you crash that rock was glowing a normal reaction in view of the amount of radiation absorbed you have a remarkable memory doctor considering the fact that you did not survive the crash what do you mean? The mechanism of your heart had ceased to function. It was necessary for us to revive it. You were dead. And your career was dead. Well, that's what they were doing. We didn't even try to help the pilot. Why did you save me? Because we had an important need of your service. Such as? Thing. Look this way, Doctor. You will understand. You are the first of your world to be looking at our solar system, the Astron. This is our planet, Astron Delta. During the 23rd time rotation, our sun began to die. Even the planet has a big eye. <laughs> Our eyes developed to this state to combat the ever-growing darkness. We were forced to migrate. You left your planet? Where? We invaded these neighboring planets. They were nearer to our sun. Actually, there are more suburbs than planets. Like they conquered the Jetsons. 
How many of them? All of us. Well over one billion. There were feeble attempts to stop us, but we were prepared for such contingencies. And now that our sun is about to completely expire, we must move again in order to survive. Yours is the only planet in this solar system capable of supporting our civilization. This is fantastic. Over a billion of you trying to come here to Earth. We have no alternative. We have been putting our plan to work for some time. At the proper moment, the invasion will be launched from our platforms, which are being readied in space. Nothing can stop us. This is ridiculous. You cannot find your way in or out of this cavern. Do not try to leave. Breeding our, shall I say, armies. Those carnivorous insects and animals. When the time comes, we will unleash them. They will spread to every continent and devour every living thing on the surface of the earth. Unless Richard Simmons can stop them. What good will that do you? How could you expect to survive better than we? We have provided for that. Boy, you really put a lot of stock in those things, don't you? No, Doctor. Look over there. I am the power. You will listen and obey. Listen and obey. You will remember nothing you have seen or heard here. Nothing but my Why doesn't somebody say something? Don't you believe me? Kurt, you understand. These giant animals breeding by the millions, they'll devour everything unless we stop them. Of course, Doug, we will. Colonel. Colonel, you've got to arrange to set off another bomb tonight. The strongest charge we have. They're beneath the ground with all their equipment. We can blow them to pieces. Now, wait a minute. A strong charge will overload their units. Don't believe me, Colonel? Major? Kurt? Of course we do. Easy, Doug. Easy. You think I'm crazy, all of you. 
Well, I'm not. Do you understand? Everything I said is true. I saw it with my own eyes. Give me a hand up. Now, let me go. Let me go. Steady, steady, steady. Take it easy now. Take it easy. We'll talk this whole thing over. What do you think now? You just drift quietly. That's it. Oh, Mrs. Martin. How is he, Doctor? Oh, he's resting fine. I think he'll be all right. Creatures are everywhere when the attack of the Killer Bee movies continues. Stay tuned. We're back with more of NBC's Attack of the Killer Bee movies. Nothing to worry about. Keep away from me. Keep away, I said. Stop. Let me go. They're after me. Nobody's after me. Dr. Martin. Keep away. Doc, he's trying to help you. I don't need the help. see Kurt. Right away. Now you control yourself. And I'll call him just as soon as you get back to your room. You don't believe me either. Kurt, I tell you, I've been there. I've seen what they're doing. Breeding animals into carnivorous monsters. But I don't need a bomb to stop them. I've figured it out. It's all here. Now look. Here's the nuclear strength of our last test. And this is the amount of electricity needed to control it. Let me see that. I had to estimate the conversion rates of their transformers. These figures are correct. Such transformers must operate on a constant supply of electricity. Where could they get that much electric power? Only one way. They must tap it from the main lines of the powerhouse. Eight to ten seconds, that's all I need. That gap in supply will short out their resistors and the whole thing will go up. But you won't go along with that. No, no, not you. You never want to short out their resistors. You are no fun. Stop. Please call the main gate and try to stop Dr. Martin. He went that way. He did what? He drank from his bedpan. How long ago? Just now. Right, we'll leave immediately. What's wrong, Colonel? Dr. Martin, he's on his way to the powerhouse, wants to cut off the power supply. Let's go. like a door. Get back. 
Go on, get back. Do as he says. Oh, I could have taken him if it weren't for that darn bathrobe. Give me ten seconds after I cut the power. If I'm insane, nothing will happen, and you can do what you want with me. But if I'm right. Now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. What is this, Sesame seven, Street? Eight. Across the street from the H bomb blast. Over that flat right the button. Just as he said. He blew them to pieces. <laughs>